Hi guys, welcome back to Mobility Monday and today we're going to be solely working on our hips, okay? Our hips can be responsible for a lot of back stiffness, knee stiffness or, or niggles in both areas um, or actual hip uh, tightness itself, okay? So whether it's your groin, um, whether it's your glutes, whether it's your hip flexors, whether it's your quads, knees, lower back, all these stretches can help guys, okay? So um, just again, make sure you've got enough room around you, make sure... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you have enough room around you and uh, let's get moving, okay? So, starting off, guys, the first thing I want you to do is get into this position. It's my favorite stretch. So, keep your front foot flat on the floor, back leg straight as you can, keep both hands on the ground and push your hips down as low as you can, okay? You can start higher up if you want to and just ease yourself into the stretch. And we're just going to sit here, okay? So you'd sit in this stretch for about good 20 seconds, 30 seconds. If you want to kind of add a little bit more to it, if you're not feeling much, you can either lower yourself down to the ground or you can rotate out towards the ceiling. And then we change sides. It's exactly the same thing. Front foot flat, back leg nice and straight. Push our hip down towards the ground. And then you can either ease it back and forward just trying to get low to the ground or we can rotate out of it good from then guys next one pigeon so leg across and sit on it okay sometimes people get a little bit of pinching in their hip with this you can do it on a sofa okay so it'd be like this okay completely up to you much easier regression would be this, okay? So it depends on how tight you really are, guys. First one's a bit of an advanced one. That's like intermediate. This is like a beginner, okay? Um, it is all dependent on how stiff you're feeling. So like, I gotta be honest, for me, I would normally do the first one, but today, like my hips are feeling a little bit stiffer than normal uh, from working out. So I'm gonna have to resort to this one. Good. Next one, guys. Feet in nice and close. And just try and push your knees down into the ground, okay? You can sit as tall as you like. Try not to hunch over because you'll lose that stretch. Ease up. And go back into it again. And one more time. Good. Next one then, guys, we're going to go half kneeling. So you're not going to be able to see my head, but all you need to see is this, okay? So 90 degrees in both legs, posteriorly tilt your pelvis, so you tuck your tummy in and tuck your tailbone under and reach your arm up towards the ceiling. Should feel a stretch around here somewhere, so I have mine's like right in there today. And reach up, you can reach over as well, just to increase the length of the muscle. And swap legs. Same thing. Good. From there then, guys, what I'd like to do from a standing position, hold on to your toes, sit into a squat, try and push your knees out. Stand back up, try and hold on to your toes. Okay? If your hands come further up your legs, then so be it. But you're just trying to get a deep squat and a stretch on the back of your legs. Good. From there, then, guys. Next one, then. On the floor, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, okay? All I want to do is use the floor's assistance to help pick your leg up and wind it around. So it crosses back to the 90 degrees and then comes straight on front of you. And you can use this 
the idea is you want to keep yourself as tall as you can okay so if i could do this seat uh, sitting up then great but i struggle with this range of motion so i want to kind of give myself a little bit of assistance and work through here Good, swap sides. Try it. Like my bum muscle is burning on both sides when I'm doing this. As in like when this leg is working, this bum muscle is burning. Uh, and then vice versa on the other side. Just because I'm trying to control the whole movement and make sure I'm not taking any of this from anywhere else. The rest of my bo uh, body's kind of staying still. Oh, it's good. Right, next one, lying on your back. Feet nice and flat, wide stance. Squeeze, okay? Just want you to do a big squeeze, tense. Stretch here if you can. Keep holding. Keep holding, keep squeezing as hard as you can. Tense as hard as you can, guys. Keep pushing towards the ceiling. Make sure it's in your bum, okay? And knees up. Get your feet closer to your bum again. And let's go. Just keep tensing. Stand wider. Push your knees out. Keep going. I'm going to do one more time, guys. Okay, a little bit wider again. Pushing your knees out as far as you can. And up and squeeze. Sounder than I thought. Right, one leg straight from it, bend your leg, straighten it. Okay, you want to make sure that you can straighten your knee completely. If it's too close towards you, you won't be able to lock your knee up. So from here, it's just there. I just do it. Some dynamic and straight stretches. Yeah, that is my knee clicking if you can hear it. Nothing wrong with it. Sign of a lubricated joint, that is. Swap sides. And then from there, guys, just hug your knees into your chest. And have a little bit of a rock. Straight legs, okay. Stand by either with your feet now. You're gonna reach to one leg, reach the other, just alternate, reaching forward. Probably feel this kind of down the backs of your legs, maybe a little bit in your groin, or alternatively, kind of like down your obliques and your sides of your lower back. Last one then guys, on your knees, sitting on your feet and just lean back as far as you feel comfortable. As soon as you feel the stretch, hold it for like three to five seconds, come out of it, okay? So you might even feel this on the front of your shins, uh, quads or hip flexors, okay? Just control it, not far, and then come back out of it. I'm going to do one more. Right, 
Work through that, guys. Okay. Um, mo so basically, we're working on our hip sockets, hamstrings, quads, lower back, glutes, uh, groin. So you might find, depending on where your stiffness is lying, some stretches or some movements will be either more challenging um, or you get more feedback from. So just spend more time on them. I'd say each one of them, you probably want to be spending you know, minimum 30 seconds on each uh, exercise. And that's both sides. So if you're doing one leg at 30 seconds and then the other leg would be 30 seconds, minimum. Okay. Um, if you're feeling more stiff, the more stiff you are, the more time you need to spend on them. Okay. Um, so you could do that cycle and then repeat it back through. Um, and if you've got any questions, because it is really hard, guys, because obviously we haven't got this face-to-face -face thing or um, I can't see what you're doing. If you have any questions or if you feel in doubt about anything, just, just ask me, okay? Hope it helps, guys. Okay, any questions, let me know. Enjoy.